Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jay and in today's video, we're just going to be doing my makeup. Um, before anyone asks, yes I did change my hair again. Um, I had rainbow bangs for about only two months, but they started to blend together and it was really hard to manage. So I just decided to bleach it all out in the bangs and then also bleach my side pieces a little bit um, for a little bit of a framing face action moment. <laughs> I really like it actually. I think it's really cute. I don't plan on doing my hair for at least another couple months because I need to let it grow out and get some of the damage off of it honestly. But I'm hoping that I can do something fun with it soon in the next like after two months. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. I can't wait. To, um, if you have any suggestions for hair ideas, please, please, please let me know. I would love to hear your suggestions so much. Um, but in today's video, I'm just gonna be doing my makeup, answering some questions, and yeah, I'm really excited for it. I hope you are too. Um, before we get into it, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. If you wanna follow me on those platforms, I would be so appreciative of it. Um, it really does mean a lot to me when you support me on those platforms. And yeah, thank you so much for watching my videos and subscribing and just being here part of the gang. So let's get right into it. So one question I get all the time is, hey Jay, where do you get your um, kawaii clothing and your J fashion clothing and your accessories and all that stuff? And I answer this question a lot. I answer it very, very often, um, <laughs> almost every day, honestly, whether it be in DMs or in videos where, about where I get my clothing. Um, but I wanna answer it in this video because I think it's beneficial to share where I get my clothes because I wanna share kawaii fashion and Japanese fashion with everyone, including everyone of all sizes. So yeah, um, one shop, my favorite shop that I go to is Kawaii Goods. They have their um, own independent site, which I will put right here, as well as their own Etsy. Um, they are very, very good. I love the owner. I've talked with her a few times. She is so amazing, so kind, so like just a really good person, honestly. And like, oh, I love their products so much. I'm little. I'm wearing one of their sweaters right now. I love what they design. It's so cool. It's so fun. And I'm just like, I'm literally obsessed with them. And like. It's, it's so nice to know where I'm getting my clothes from because we're mutuals on Instagram, me and the shop owner. And she's so, so kind. And really just a good influence in the um, kawaii lifestylers internet kind of like sphere. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I could gush about this shop for a long time, but I, I won't because there's a ton of other ones too get to because like I made a little list and I am really excited to share all my like favorite shops with you. Another really good shop that I like to shop on is um, Kohet Argo. I believe I'm saying that correctly but I might I might be mispronouncing it a little bit but I will put the name right here. Um, it's really good. It's got really good shirts and really good like accessories like buttons and prints even. It's very cute. Um, I bought my Furby shirt and my Furby sweater from them. Um, they have a lot of good buttons too that I recently bought and they're just, they're so adorable and I really, really enjoy their stuff. And um, they've talked to me before, like, um, cause I mutuals with them too on Instagram. And they're just very kind and very like, just an overall good experience with them. Another really good shop is um, Showtime Sweetie. Um, I haven't bought a ton of stuff from them but their brooch is really cute. I own um, their heart medical brooch, I believe. Um, it's very cute, it's very soft and pastel and glittery. And it's so sweet and it's just like, I like it a lot. I like a lot of their other stuff too, but I haven't been able to buy um, all the stuff from them that I want, but I got all the time in the world. So um, I'm just, I like building up my wardrobe and my um, accessory collection, so. I like to take my time and go slow with it so I don't spend all my money, but yeah, they're a very good shop and I've talked to them as well and they're very sweet and kind. Um, another good shop is Darling Avalon. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, it's from one of my mutuals on Instagram. Um, his shop, it's so good. 
I got their um, the Dino shirt, the Dino Fun Time shirt. It's so cute. He is such a good designer, and like it's so soft too, the fabric, and I love it. It's so cute, and I just I really enjoy his work. Um, excuse me. I want to get more from the shop and from him, but I again money is an issue, so I'm trying to save up while I can. Um, another really good shop that I like a lot is Blackout Dolls. They have a lot of really cute like like kitschy earring stuff. It's where I got my um my blood bag necklace and my blood bag earrings and it's really cool and like spooky and like some of the stuff that they have is very much so like like I don't know how to describe it exactly but it's very cute and I've talked to them as well and they're very kind and I just really like the shop a lot. Um another good shop is Danny Lamb Designs. Danny Lamb Designs is where I got my iconic strawberry dress that everyone always asks me, hey, where's it from? I want to get this. And like, I always tell them, and what, well, I don't always tell, but I have it posted in my in my photo um, description box. Um, I always tag where I get my clothes. So if you ever are wondering where I get my clothes, just look in the description box of my Instagram posts and you'll be able to find it. So yeah, um, but Danny Land Designs is a very cute shop. They've reposted my photos on their um, their account, which is very nice because like I where I'm wearing their strawberry dress or, or yeah, where I'm wearing their strawberry dress, and it's really cool because like it's good to show that plus size people can fit into your clothes and that plus size people look good in your clothes and to support plus size people in your clothes because like not a lot of brands really do that, or if they do, it's like. Like as plus size as you would expect it to be if that makes sense because like there are like a range of plus sizes and people who are plus size but sometimes it's like on the smaller end and then it's like oh does it only go up to that size and it's just a little hard to understand sometimes but like i'm a very very plus size person so yeah <laughs> i'm sorry i'm i'm rambling a little bit it's just good to know how far the sizes go up, if that makes sense. It's like, you want to know if it'll fit you or not. And, yeah. <laughs> uh oh, I just got my finger in my eyeshadow. Oh, that's sad. But it's okay. My fingernail in my eyeshadow. Another good shop that I don't shop a ton at, honestly, is Lazy Elf. It's where I got my rainbow sweater. And everyone always asks me, um, where I got it or if they still continue selling the rainbow sweater and the thing is I don't think they sell the rainbow sweater anymore which is very upsetting because I wanted to buy a second one of it but like the only way you can get it now is like on um, on Depop and people like gouge the price really really badly on Depop with like lazy old products because once they're gone they're usually gone for good or if they come back they come back more expensive I think um, but yeah, so I'm up, so it's sad that you can't get the rainbow sweater anymore, I don't believe, unless you like find it on a secondhand shop. Um, but usually it's like a lot higher price, which is very sad. But yeah. Um Yeah. But I do know that Lazy Oak does have some does have some pretty good plus size ranges. Um, I personally have only bought my rainbow sweater from them. I haven't bought much else. But I'm sure that if you look around, you can find stuff in your size, or if not, you can like... If they don't carry your size, which I'm sure they don't carry my size for everything, like with pants and stuff, but if you can't find something in your size there, I'm sure you can look and try and find something else in your size there, if that makes sense. Because I didn't, I didn't know that the rainbow sweater would fit me at first. I thought it was gonna be too small because it was only a large, but it fits really well. And I'm usually like at least like a three to five XL. So yeah, I'm gonna just real quickly um, put up some more like places, um, shops, Etsy's, independent websites, whatever, that are like really, really good for um, kawaii clothes, J fashion clothes, alternative clothes that are just really cool. And um, I'm gonna put up some links to that. Um, in the here and I'll also probably link them in the description if I can remember if not please remind me and I'll do that but yeah I'm a lot of places I've also bought from um, <laughs> I tag in my Instagram 
post like I said before. So if you ever wonder where I get my clothes, please, please, please just like, just look in my Instagram and nine out of 10 times it will be there. Um, where's my eyeliner? There's my eyeliner. Okay, cool. <laughs> Sorry, I was a little distracted, but okay, let's get on to eyeliner now. Um, let me answer another question, how about? So a lot of people have asked me how I got into J Fashion. I'm like, what inspired me to get into J Fashion? And um, for me, sorry, this eyeliner is really dry. I'm gonna look for a different one. For me, J Fashion was something I had had an interest in for a long time, like since middle school. And I really believed that I could not pull it off. I was very much so convinced that like to be a J Fashion wearer, you had to be like really skinny and you had to be like super cute naturally like your face and everything and that was like kind of hard for me because like growing up I was a chubby kid and then like I've said before I had an eating disorder um that was really detrimental to me but um when I gained weight back and became chubby again I really didn't think I would like ever be able to get into J fashion and like that was really hard for me honestly because like it had been something that I was inspired by when I like read manga and, and watched anime and stuff like that um and so it was hard to feel like I would never look good in J fashion but then one day actually with my rainbow sweater um I just like bought it and I started wearing like more colors and more cutesy stuff and just like really going for what I wanted to look like like before I had always I had always dressed alternatively like I was very much a little little goth a little punk when I was like growing up and even into my like adulthood um so I was always alternative in my style but like I had never really dabbled in more colorful stuff which was something I'd always wanted to do so when I finally got my rainbow sweater and like started experimenting more with J fashion and like buying cute accessories and adding like a skirt or two that was really pastel-y into my wardrobe. Um, I really just started to like feel like my authentic self and feel like I was living for myself and dressing how I wanted to instead of just like how I thought I had to dress. And then I started growing my hair out because I always thought like I have to look a certain way because I dress a certain way. And because I dress a certain way, I have to do things a certain way. And that also played in with like other stuff as well. But um, when I finally let, started letting myself like express myself how I really wanted to express myself, which was through color and rainbows and just like a, an explosion of kawaii and stuff, I was really, really happy. And like that happiness really translated into my mental health as like, feeling really good and that was something I'd been struggling with for a long time and even now even today as I wear J fashion right now I still struggle with my mental health obviously but like I've, I literally just said it today to one of my friends um, wearing J fashion literally saved my life because I finally felt like I was free to express myself as me and to not be ashamed of who I am and to just like be myself unapologetically authentically 100 percent so yeah i really i really am so grateful that i got into j fashion because it really does make me feel like me and that's really wonderful sorry i look at the viewfinder so often i'm just a little dumb when it comes to looking directly at the camera so i'm like i want to see how i look with my makeup on and then i forget and then I'm filming a video and I can't look at my face like a little narcissist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my bangs look so... <gasps> I just stabbed myself with my mascara wand. Hold on one second. Oof. That kind of hurt. <laughs> it's all good though. Okay. Get into my lips real quick. It's weird now with what's going on in the world because I can't, with the mask, um, I have to have my lips covered, but I still do like lip gloss and everything. 
So I get tons of makeup on the inside of my mask. It's honestly like kind of gross. Cause like I'll just have a lipstick kiss mark on the inside of my mask. And then a glitter gloss on top. Yeah, I think that's good. I don't think I'm gonna add blush or any, um, highlighter or anything right now. <laughs> this is a look. A look and a half, even. I got this Garfield, like, um, this Garfield hairbrush comb, um, and it's super cute, and I love it a lot. I love Garfield. He is such an important guy to me. Such an important kitty cat. Don't do this middle part, please. Okay, so this is my makeup all done. Um, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, yeah, I hope, I know I only answered like two questions, but those were really big like questions to answer, honestly, like clothing brands and also my inspiration of how I got into J fashion, so. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And it just means a lot when you support me and like show me some love. So please do that if you want to. No pressure though. No pressure whatsoever. <laughs> Stop parting in the middle. But um, yeah, I'll see you next time. I hope you have a lovely day. Bye-bye. <laughs> So I almost forgot today's featured fan artist, but I remember just in time, so I'm just editing this in real quick, but today's featured fan artist is Lemon Cream Art on Instagram. She did this amazing piece for me. It is so gorgeous, and I'm absolutely in love with it. Um, when I first saw it, I literally started crying over it because like, I was having a rough day, and this just was so kind, so considerate, so wonderful, and really just made my day, and I am so appreciative of it, and thank you so much to her for doing this for me. It was so kind and wonderful and i love it so much thank you have a wonderful day everyone and bye bye see you next time